Hey 10th graders, it's me again. Um, I'm here to show you, um, I guess, kind of like how should you be doing the notes in the notes and outline feature of EasyBib so that your teachers know you're processing the information in your own way and you're using the Cornell note taking method which is a college ready skill that'll get you ready for college what so anyways as you're reading all your information you then need to start processing it into your own brain so when you're in your project you want to go to the notes and outline part in the main pane you uh, double click to create a new note and you put in the title and you can add a source from your bibliography that would be the source you're getting the note from you copy and paste the quote here and your teachers really really need for you to do this part for your project and they will probably also grade you on it underneath where you cut and paste the quote paraphrasing means in your own words you need to repeat the information but in a way that we can tell it's from your brain not just copying the information so to paraphrase you might even kind of summarize it um, but you definitely need to use your own language so the paraphrase should not look exactly like the direct quote it should have the same ideas and maybe facts or statistics but the way that they're stated should be your own language then in the square below that that's where you comment on it that's where you kind of want to add your own swag to it so to speak or your own style maybe even some of your opinions about the information and then underneath that you can click organize and just like the previous video showed you can put it in a group you can add tags and this is my favorite part when it looks like the little hand you can choose a color and make it so researchlicious so here's an example I wanted to show you of a way that you might possibly word something so let's say this is a note I'm making about my DNA project that has to do with a uh, will verification so the exact quote says DNA testing is sometimes used when long-lost members of a family come forward and a wealthy member dies in order to try and get some rights to an inheritance so that's the direct quote from the boring I mean scholarly book so in the next box I want to paraphrase it that means I want to say the same stuff but in my own way so that might sound like when a rich person dies people who claim to be a blood relative might use a DNA test to see if they can get some of the uh, inheritance I might even change that to fortune or something different so that that's what paraphrasing really is it's changing the language but not the ideas and now this in the comment box I'm gonna add some more personality to it so I might say wow if someone who is making it rain bites the dust kids of that person who may not have been known before can get tested and be like yeah throw some of that rain my way the identifier means like what's the sentence and paragraph and page I got it from and I added tags here and also a color so and then of course um, once you've used this quality process to put all the information into your own words by paraphrasing it and commenting you can of course put them into groups so I'm thinking that all these notes that have to do with DNA testing and family issues I'm going to drag those notes on top of each other and now I'll double click on top there to create a group called uh, family law because it's kind of about legal stuff in your family and that is going to help me 
um, organize my ideas so that before I write my paper, you know, everything will be uh, swagalicious and also it will make sense to me and whoever reads my paper. I'll TTYL everybody.